In this video you see how to use Media Workstation Classic Edition. This is the user interface. It is divided into the following sections. The display area. Here you can find information like lists, input masks, and the picture from your camera. The status bar. Here you can see the name of the patient you're working with. The menu bar with buttons for navigation, selection, and other functions. The tools and messages area. Here you can see the name of the area you are in. Get help by clicking here. Click here to return to the previous area. To start a new examination. Click new. This is the procedure area. Here you can see all procedures scheduled for the media workstation. See the patient details on the left and procedure details on the right. To view all information about a procedure, click details. On top are the patient information, followed by the procedure information. Click OK. The procedure with the highest priority is selected. Click select to start the examination. You are now in the recorder area. Notice the name of the current patient, the procedure ID and the remaining recording time. Click here to take a photograph. When the examination is finished. Click archive. The session view offers a quick overview over all medical examinations of the patient. A mouse click at the picture or symbol opens the attached data set. You are now in the picture area. Optimize the picture for maximum precision or watch details with the zoom function. Click here to add markers. Tools are offered for arrows circles, outlines, text and other special markers. Choose a marker shape. Click to define the starting point. Drag to define the size. You can write text into the picture too. To each data set separate comments can be assigned to. Click comment. Standard comments are available in lists structured by categories. Select a text. The selected comment from the list is inserted into the edit field. Click here to switch to another category. Alternatively a list entry can be inserted by double clicking the primary mouse button too. You can also type comments via keyboard. All modifications are stored to the database. You are back in the marker area. Click back. You are back in the picture area. Click back. The markers are saved independently from the image content. Finishing the procedure, alternative 1. Choose the files to send via DICOM and finish the procedure. In the session area, click send to. The check mark symbolizes that the data set is highlighted for export. Click here to exclude a data set from export. Send the marked data sets via DICOM. Click yes to finish the procedure. Finishing the procedure, alternative 2. Finish the procedure and automatically send all files via DICOM. 
In the session area, click back. You are back in the procedure area. Select a procedure. Click finish. Click yes to send all recordings via DICOM. The finished procedure is removed from the list. You can still see all patients and their examinations by clicking here. The workflow is finished. Let's return to the start area. Click back.